Good morning, lovelies. Zoe 2 let's see what's more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today it is the 2nd of January. Look out, coming to you from the future. Uh, but for Australia, for time zones, the lovely new egg hatchathon, the kind of like New Year's event, isn't starting until tomorrow. So we'll get into that in tomorrow's video. Party hat, worm pool, and all that jazz is gonna be popping out of two kilometer eggs. So for today, we've got a bit of a, you know, interim activities to do. I've got a whole bunch of eggs that I incubated before the egg distance bonus ran out. So I've got to get those popping. I also popped two batches of them yesterday. Prat, nothing too crazy out of those. It is what it is, but I did get this bad boy in the house, which is fantastic. This is my third blue shiny in the house. We had a, like almost this entire year in the new place where I didn't get any shinies at all. And then in the last like month and a bit, or in the, like, in the last three weeks, I've had two. And then, you know, one a couple of months ago, but they've all been blue shinies. We've had the Yanma, the Houndor, and now the Snow Runt. So I'm, I want to keep up that theme, maybe only shiny check things that can be blue in the house. So pretty stoked with that one as I did trade away my, my third one uh, to someone who needed one. So now I've kind of got the full, full little set going, which is great. Let's do a quick shiny check here on the Snubble. The uh, Magikarp is not a shiny. And then we've got a few quests to get in here. So there's a whole bunch of new quests uh, that are being kind of like researched and found out by the Silk Road team. We'll go into that soon. Hatch seven eggs. I accidentally deleted one of these before checking because I thought it was the Christmas Hatch seven eggs for Lapras. Hatch seven eggs is now Alolan Vulpix. So this is the first time seeing Alolan Vulpix out of seven kilometer eggs. And I think, did we have them a little bit at one of the GoFests or something? They were kind of like spawning in the wild a little, little bit. I can't recall. But Hatch seven eggs is going to be Alolan Vulpix now, which I desperately want and the eggs are incubating so happy days we do also have as well the takeover continues team go rocket is still at it they just can't stop we have to find one more team go rocket grunt uh to clear out you'll be pleased to know as well the second part of this quest is now a lot e easier <laughs> pseudo widow g'day mate the second part of this quest is now easier it's only spinning pokestops three days in a row uh and purifying five pokemon instead of 15 which is fantastic so let's go find a grunt let's get these eggs popping see what we get done and dusted let's claim this reward thanks team rocket well thanks professor who's rewarding me is the professor rewarding me okay yep spin pokey stops three days in a row purify five win five raids so rather than having to take five days to do it with the five spins and far less stardust cost for the purification GG EZ. Oh, what's hello, Nidoran? How are you doing? Uh, let me just check here as well. I did put aside a whole bunch of things through the rest of December. Uh, I named all of the cheap purification ones P U R. So I won't even have to use all of them. I have a few more to take over into February as well. So magic on that card. Work towards the badge. But uh, get these bad boys out of the way. The 1,000, the cheapies. We now have Weedle as well in the cheap purification ones. So Zubat, Golbat, Weedle and its family as well. They're going to cost you far, far less to purify. So let's get these out of the way. So fast. Your girl, Sierra, done and dusted, but she now has Absol. So, I mean, Sierra's my best friend this month. She's got the Absols coming in. Avoiding Arlo this month as he's got the Bagon. I don't really need any more shiny Bagon. So Cliff and Sierra are my homies for until they change, I guess. Kind of sad you can't get the Shadow Meowth anymore. I've still gone for that one, but hey, it's what it is. It's what it is. We've got to adapt, overcome, and just fight Sierra instead. <laughs> I love her. She's still fantastic. Three, two, one regular on the Absol, so nothing too crazy there but our eggs should be just about ready to go I'm also fairly overdue for a hundo shadow purified Pokemon I think I'm up to 400 and something shadows caught uh, and I'm only on three hundos ever I was kind of like averaging oh, see look at that look at you damn it I was averaging about one every hundred uh, shadow but not so much anymore it's dipped off hardcore Let's see. Oh, Melmetal's very pleased with us today. I've been, again, rotating between buddies. So I've got Melmetal and Togepi, both to great friends so far, which is fantastic. 2.3, not long. The eggs are going. Sandshrew for the first one. Got the record on just in time. Goodness gracious. 
and we've completed our hatch seven eggs quests as well. Is that Durant under us as well? Oh my gosh. So many things. So many things. Bonsley. Cute. These are all kind of uh, were opened in the Christmas holiday event as well. So is that a Durant? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. We'll snipe that in between. In between the eggs. Dude, this is like the third one I've ever, ever seen. Nice one. Put it in the bag, take it with me for the, the you know, future events and stuff. If you guys need a Durant, if you need the Pan Sages, oh, please stay. All that jazz. You know who to ask for them. Oh, we got the Mel Metal Assist. Dude, that's like my first time seeing that today. That's so, so good. And I like that when it rebounds as well, if it was going to be a nice or a great throw, it gives you still that good throw when it bounces it back. Thanks, Mel Metal. You're a legend. Not bad. Next egg. Oh, Tyrogue. Yep, nope, get out. Hello, Beanie Chew. How you doing? Your season is done, my friend. You are two days out of date. <laughs> Stantler. Last chance for a Jingle Bell Stantler as well, these ones. I'm thinking Vulpix, but regular. Flappy. Oh, there's the Vulpix. I was just one late. Just one out of one out of order. That's fine. I think uh, Cleffa regular. Mm, nope, no, not even close. Sand. Oh, is that all? Dang. Okay, full batch done. We got Sandshrew, Grimer, Vulpix, Togepi, Stantler, Pichu, Tyro, Bonsley, and another Sand Shrew. Not a bad batch. Not a bad batch at all. Honestly, I've seen a lot less Tyro lately, so I can't really complain about that. Ha. Oh. Here's the question though, do I always pick up some regular eggs? Because I want to clear them out before tomorrow. I want to have no eggs for tomorrow so that we can get those new egg hatchathon ones. So I think we should, I should be able to clear out like some 5Ks and 2Ks pretty easily. That shouldn't be too much of a worry. So let's like, keep incubating and then hopefully pop them all by the time we get home. And then we're fresh and ready to go for tomorrow's. Tomorrow's gonna be the big one. Tomorrow's I'm just gonna like not stop hatching, seriously. But we need to check these quests as well. Actually, oh sorry, give me that one for the uh, the takeover. And then three Vulpix checks. I've been pretty lucky actually with the uh, the research breakthroughs lately too. So, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever actually seen. Yeah, I don't think I have ever actually seen it on the map to catch. So that is so different seeing like Vulpix proper on the map. That's really cool. I think I must have been thinking about like other, you know, like the Marwile and the Absol and things that we had at GoFest. Vulpix on the map. So cute. Two more checks. Let's see what we get. Regular as well. And regular. That's okay. That other one was pretty high CP though. Let's see if any of those were hundos. Nope. All good. It's been a hot second since we've been in this room, hasn't it? I've uh, kind of actually re oh, ignored the mess down here. Rearranging the uh, the office, the studio space. We've got the lighting coming in from the correct direction. Finally, it's looking a bit nicer. Computer and stream setup for you guys here. All looking good. We might need some like posters or a plant. Bring it to life a little bit. But for now, it is what it is. It's all good. And just quickly as well, before we jump into the new like Silf Road, research on the new quests. I want to remind you guys as well, I put a little tweet out about uh, donating blood or plasma. Uh, at the moment, I can't donate blood or plasma for like the next, it's now down like to only like two weeks left, but I had a month off donating blood and plasma because of new medication that I'm taking. So I've put the call out to you lovelies to go sign up to be a new blood donor or plasma donor or to rebook in for a donation in the new year. Go check out the post on Twitter. I'm basically giving away spots on my friends list to people who either sign up as new, you guys get to stay on until great friend for three of you lovelies. And then for reoccurring donors, uh, you guys are gonna be in the draw to get some nice little gifts, hopefully get an egg out of them as well. Go check out that tweet, I'll be picking the people tomorrow. Be sure to read the rules as well because it is open to people who physically can't donate themselves. So if you're underage, have a medical condition, if you can't donate in your country for whatever reason it might be, it's still open for you guys to enter by encouraging a friend or family member to enter on your behalf. Read through the whole the whole rules. There's a, there's a lot of like text in there, but it explains every single bit and all the steps and what you need to do. So go check it out, get some gifts, let's do this. Let's help people and you get some nice little gifts and eggs in return. 
So let's peep the Sylph Road. If you guys haven't been using this resource, what have you been doing with your lives? This uh, Sylph is fantastic just for compiling information and facts. As soon as stuff changes in the game, such as new egg pools and things like that, they have a whole research team just on it, hatching eggs, doing tasks, reporting and recording all of the results. If you want to be a Sylph researcher as well, you can do so through their website. There's links for that there. But let's jump in. There is, I'm gonna filter by Pokemon encounters for these ones. There is some new variety of tasks altogether. Buddy tasks. Earn five hearts with your buddy and take a snapshot of your buddy. So two fresh quests there, never seen before, which is great. Uh, the five hearts with your buddy is going to be Stantler. Thumbs up. That's one that we maybe you didn't get one during the holiday event. I know I didn't. <laughs> and then there is take a snapshot of your buddy, which is uh, Snova. Again, a fresh shiny and not going to complain there either. Both, both pretty good and both very... Very easy, reasonably, to get done. Five hearts with your buddy could easily be done in one day just through the feeding the buddy, do a battle with like a team leader, and take a photo, really. Yeah, the three feedings, a photo and a battle. Like, that would be the easiest way to do it, do it from home even. So, nice. Some catching tasks here. A few have been changed up. So, we've got Dugong as a, uh, as a reward, uh, Snow Runt for catching five fire types. I won't really need to do that quest personally. Five Pokemon with a weather boost is still Vulpix and uh, Poliwag. Dragon type is still Dratini and catch 10 Pokemon is still Magikarp. So some haven't changed. Some throwing tasks, Spinder still the same. Uh, Voltorb still the same. Onyx still the same. Larvitar still the same. And yeah, all of the all of the great throw ones, uh, all, sorry, all the throw ones are still the same. Battle in a raid is now Swinub. Level three raid or higher, level five raid or higher, the same. Defeat a Team Go Rocket Grunt. That's a freshie and that is going to be Sneasel. I uh, totally recommend focusing on that one if you're someone who has like, you know, never had a shiny. Sneasel still does have a fairly boosted rate. I don't know if it's still the one in 70, uh, but it is still better than other stuff. Same with Onyx uh, and Scyther, I believe. And a few others. Battle another trainer three times is now Shelda. A gorgeous shiny, a really, really gorgeous shiny and all round decent Pokemon. I used to love using Cloyster to take down like dragon gyms. People would always put Dragonites in gyms and they were absolute units. So I've still got my full team of Cloyster for those. Winner gym battle is now one of the three original starters. Battle in the gym five times, still my chop. The rest in that one, like, yeah, kind of okay. Battle in a gym for Mankey, not bad. The fresh one in the egg tasks, as we found out today, was the Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix. Shiny potential. Very cute one, also fantastic if you are someone with a kid's account. Uh, I know previously, I mean, now kids' accounts can have friends and things like that, so hopefully they've been able to get uh, some, you know, seven kilometer eggs through the friends system. But previously, kids literally couldn't get seven kilometer eggs. There's a whole bunch of Alolans that were excluded from kids' accounts. Potentially, if your kid is in that boat, if you don't play the game yourself and your kid does, uh, this is one way for them to get that stack up a seven eggs quest and they can now get Alolan Vulpix. Either way, it's a it's a pretty nice little reward. It would it takes a little if you, you know if you're someone who's using the free incubator only, it will take a little while to get this one done, but not drastic, and a decent shiny out of it too, a fairly rare one. And then miscellaneous tasks, trader Pokemon is now Galalee instead of uh, what was it Bronzor, I believe. So mm, I'm not personally too fast on that. Send ten gifts will be Clam Pearl. Transfer three Pokemon for Low Tad. Mm -hmm. I want to avoid that one. Power up five times is still the original starters and Evolve Pokemon has Cub Chew and Eevee in it. So that's a winner for me. It's an easy one uh, and I still want that Hundo Cub Chew. So I'll keep my eyes out for that. Keep in mind guys, there still could be other quests they haven't found yet. So be sure to check in on this. Check in on it right now while I'm, while I'm talking about this video. Maybe there has been a few more updates and a few other quests added in, but this is what's been confirmed so far. Let's check back in with the game and see the, the hashtag blessed Go plus if it picks up anything on the drive and stuff. No, easy peasy, all good. Good little bunch of hatches in today. And tomorrow is the thing I'm saving myself for. I, I'm excited guys, we get the memes. We get the meme, the worm, the meme worm. It's happening, it's happening. I'm glad. I can't wait to see everyone with their little worm buddies as well. Good luck if you guys are looking for the shiny. If not, I hope you can just hatch a regular one and get that bad boy out there. I wanna take so many AR photos, oh my God. Keep in mind guys as well, 
Uh, if you would like to get your AR photos featured, be sure to use the hashtag ZTD News on Instagram. And legit, the second you get your hands on a Wormpool, like tomorrow's feature is going to be nothing but party hat Pokemon for the AR photos. So hot tip, if you want to get the better, better odds to get featured, go all out party hat vibes. I want to see it. With that being said, as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. Happy New Year, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.